The president called him brilliant. His friends from Columbia, Tennessee, just called him Jake. Jake Brewer died at the age of 34 in an accident in Washington, D.C. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland went down to Columbia to find out how his success inspired others. Before Jake Brewer was a White House advisor, before he was a student at the Naval Academy and Vanderbilt, he got a start in life here at Columbia Central High School. Throughout the halls of Columbia Central High School, little has changed since the time the class of 99 roamed the hallways. Among the students then was Jake Brewer, a young man with motivation and talent. And he just kind of had a twinkle in his eye. He had those blue eyes and you just, you just noticed Jacob right away. 16 years later, his former teacher, Beth Fullerton, flips through his yearbook. But it was obvious good things were, were in his future. I never would have imagined, though, that he would be working at the White House one day. After graduating high school, Brewer attended the Naval Academy for two years before finishing college at Vanderbilt University. He went on to become a senior technology advisor for the White House. You know, watching his career grow, was it's always a pleasure to see a student who, do, who achieves at that level. On Saturday, he was participating in a charity bicycle ride to fight cancer when he collided head-on with another vehicle. The accident killed him. Because I thought, not Jacob, that's horrible. Hundreds of miles away, the community of Columbia is mourning. And I think we were all just kind of shocked and thought what a loss it was for, for such a good person to die so young and, and so suddenly. Brewer was married in 2011 and had a two-year-old daughter named Georgia. His wife is seven months pregnant with their second child. In a statement, President Obama said Brewer had a brilliant mind, a big heart, and an insatiable desire to give back. He went on to say, simply put, Jake was one of the best. You know, what a legacy to leave behind. That's, that's something his children and his family and, and, and we can be proud of. In Columbia, John Will Newland, News Channel 5. Brewer most recently worked on President Obama's tech hire initiative and also worked on data to connect skilled workers with job opportunities.